Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. In today's video, I'm going to show you something I just figured out this morning that's going to save me a lot of time if I can get these all selected. When you have somebody that emails you a list of names, my computer's acting up a little bit today. If you somebody that emails you a, a couple of names, five names, ten names, and it's really not so just I'm selecting these and I'm just going to copy them. Now, then you can bring them into Corel Draw and hit paste. I'm going to show you what's going to happen. I don't care what you check here, discard, maintain. It's going to put them in the center of the page. It's going to put them in a box, and they're not usable. You can't you can, you can break them apart, but it only breaks apart individual names. And it was really irritating. I even uh, asked a few people how I could get around this, and, and people a lot smarter than me, and, and we couldn't ever figure it out. So, you know, there's an easier way if you have a lot of names, they can send it to you on an Excel spreadsheet, and you can tag them in, you know, inside of Corel and actually put the name where you want them to go. But when you only, you know, do five or 10 or 20 name tags for somebody at a time, it's really not worth, you know, doing all that extra problem. I would bring this in and then I would actually have to retype, you know, and at least I had them on the screen so I could look at them. But that, you know, that took a few minutes and I could misspell a word. So now I just figured this out this morning. Go up to text and convert to artist text. Then click on them and go object, break it apart. Now you can take each individual name. It's spelled correctly because the customer sent it to you. You can change the size. You can change the font and do whatever you want to with it. This is going to save me a world of time. I hope it helps you a little bit, and thank you for watching.